Hello everybody, Truman 5000 here. Got a little video for you. It's on the knife on the table, of course. Uh, it is the Kaiser KI-412A3. It is very evident that Kaiser has not started to name their knives and they just give them a number and letter designation. Like I said, this is the KI-412A3. And they have another one, which is probably the, the B3. And it has like a brown or a copper tint to it. This one, of course, is predominantly blue. It also had a, a pocket clip on it, but I took it off. It was up here in my way, and uh, I bought the knife at a big discount from Blade HQ a couple of weeks back. It usually goes for about 110, 120. They sent me an email because I'm on their newsletter list. And it was going for 76 bucks plus. So I definitely picked it up. I, I had bought a lanyard for my other Kaiser. And uh, I said, well, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and get this one. Remove the pocket clip. And uh, attach a lanyard. So here we go. All right. A very handsome knife, very good looking knife, and uh, I don't know, it it feels smaller than what it is for some strange reason. We have a three and a half inch blade. Blade material is S35VN. Alright, a premium blade material. We have the good stuff as the titanium alloy. Uh, you see the little screws on the lock bar? Well, you know, we have a lock bar insert. And there's your lock up. Okay. And like I said, a very, very good looking knife. If you, if you can't afford a full time mask, I'm sure that Kaiser has, has something for you. <laughs> but I've been eyeballing this knife for a while. And when Blade HQ offered the good discount, well, I jumped right on it. Well, let's get to a few specifications. Uh, the knife in total length is 8 inches long. As you see, she is thumb stud operated. Uh, 3.5 inch blade. The blade is just over a tenth of an inch thick at 0 .11. 0 .11 inches thick. The handle is four and a half inches long we have a beautiful stone wash on the blade a beautiful stone wash it wasn't stone wash with a brick as you can see very very nicely done yeah no guy kaiser really does nice blade treatments on their knives whatever finish they have is very very good I have two this of course my second one and I am very very pleased um the thickness through the handle is 0.44 inches a little less than a half inch 0.44 my pocket clip was tipped down it has been removed uh, we have thumb studs. Kaisers are made in China. Okay. 
And by now, you should realize that uh, some good knives are coming out of China. <laughs> Even the fakes are good. And I ain't talking about good fakes, I'm talking about just good plain knives. We'll get into that a little later. Uh, she is a frame lock. She has an insert and she's running on washers. All right. Very, very cool. Very nice. Like I said, S35VN. And, uh, man, it, it carries so easily, guys. It carries so easily. It, it, it feels a lot smaller than it's eight inches in length will belie. Very nice knife. Very nice. Okay. There is your Kaiser KI-412A3. There is the centering. I haven't done anything to it. Said wipe it down with my knife rag. Okay. Very, very handsome knife. Okay, this is an overview. Now I have I have used it. I have EDC'd it, but nothing very long term. Just a just a really nice looking knife, guys. Really nice knife. All right, that is your Kaiser, my number two, and the lanyard is from a guy named Bugging Out Knots on Instagram. Bugging Out Knots, and I'm also on Instagram. So there is your Kaiser. I'll hold it still for a minute. <laughs> you guys uh, like my new camera? <laughs> really like that blue on that titanium. Really, really cool. All right, guys. Now, within a week or so, I should be getting my Robert Carter F-16 back from Lionworks. He's putting a pocket clip on it for me, a sculpted a pocket clip. And when I get that knife back, along with my Chavez 228, I'm going to do a review of this Shirogorov model 95 clone and I'm going to put it heads up with the Chavez and with the Robert Carter and I'm going to tell you right now this knife in my hand is all of mid tech and I paid 70 bucks for it all right all of mid tech and I paid 70 bucks for it. If, if you can forget that it's a clone and take it for what it's worth, this is a $70 knife that rivals mid techs. <laughs> I, I know I'm going to catch a lot of flack for that, but hey, I'll put it up against anyone. All right, that that video will be coming very, very soon. So be ready, be ready to love, be ready to hate, be ready to go spend some money and maybe find out for yourself. All right, guys, Showman 5000 is gonna let y'all go with that. See ya.